5k net worth, Tiger Dyer's nearly about to overtake him. It's the cooldown efficiency, pretty good. Yep. Well, I uh, well, it's... He died. He did die. Uh, he was probably dead. They were, they, that was what he did. Top lane, Tiger. Trying to see if he can play his way out of here with a fear. Tries to hit Zai, so Zai messes up the combo, but won't be the case. Does get the save from Insania, though. He's getting south as well. It's a lot of damage, though. I don't think it's going to be enough to keep Tiger alive. He's back into the Shadow Realm. He's, he is still living, you're right. It was enough, but that's out given to him through the False Promise. Tiger is actually going to be able to get away, and they ended up losing the Elder Titan. Foxy's been able to wrap around, get on top of Zai. Mickey's jumping in onto the back lines. He's found Puppy. He's on top of the Jakiro, clearing out the trees. Mickey will look to chase him down. Puppy trying to juke Boxy. Does end up finishing off Zai. A blink, blink side from CC and CQ. Yeah. That's another issue for AM, and he can't, I mean, he can spell shield it, but if uh, if OD BKBs at least, then doesn't self hex. But you gotta you gotta be so careful now as Liquid. In a, in a way, you gotta try to play defensive. In another way, you're like, okay, OD will just down. It's not gonna get better than this. We just got our Scadian Miracle. We will try this fight. I don't think they're favored, but if everything connects, oh, they find Yuan. They want to kill him off quickly. C and C and C. Is there a defensive? That's a relocate. The Bashment's also there, but what's really left? Kuro's letting it go. Zeking will jump in. He'll start the duel. Crystal Maiden stands no chance here at all. Another victory their way. Get him. Running away. But he Damn. cannot escape. He gets caught by that, uh, by the stomp, yeah. by GH. And we are with that side hit. He gets the kill. Yeah. More money for the TA. The Freddy starting to stay barrel ahead of him. Whether we has been able to head to the jungle, clean up the neutral as well. Down bottom, X set up. Top tower Onto mind control. Attack. He hasn't got the stun for a couple of seconds. Fade is looking for him. Stick charges will be there. One more right click will do it. Oh, oh, try to get the burrow strike up. Oh, oh. he dodged the stun. Get him. He's they probably... should have him. Oh, oh the Jukes. Oh. No way. He's where, got another Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh. Nobody knows. The Jukes are real. He's out Sandy. in the trees. Mind control will manage to TP away there. Out of them in the mid. Right Top lane. A little scary for Liquid there. They can run him with that shield. Kezu trying to dive in for this. Here, got another shield. I'll get the kill. Surely, or well, maybe not, but they've sort of been blocked up by the creeps. Mind Control's able to keep the distance. Kezu will not find it. Mind Control will get away from the Abaddon. And they, what? They didn't even use BKB themselves. Yeah, so. they didn't. They smoked when the Emperor's BKB was not. Koko spots it. This is so good what he's doing. He's literally just using his body to break smokes there. Axes himself. Runs Shadow Blade. Spot time. They should be able to see the X on the ground. The is stunning. Good time. He has a lot of this or Ice Blast. Oh, the disrupt! It's gonna be really close. Yeah. He needs to dodge a lot of damage. Keep throwing remnants. Yeah. Keep throwing remnants. Okay, oh, Archimist. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Archimist. Oh no, he doesn't. That was a really good moment to have an X. So. Oh, Get a kill somewhere with charges, and then he'll might be able to have some impact. But RNG, they're reading this timing. They're going to try and potentially uh, catch not one, if not go for that mid tier one tap. But he did. Sound. Take a lot of star storm damage. Probably going to be enough. Not have to tether up, actually. But. Oh, can he get away? He tries to chase him the rock. A couple of shots, but now he's popping with a tornado. Cold snapped up. EMP burned out. The missile lands onto Roger, but it's not enough. They yeah, ended again. up getting punished, and that started off a great fight for them. They've got they've got Glimpse. static storm available. Glimpses up to level four, and then again is old chicken primary target defensive disruption out from dark, and now they really start going in a huge avalanche. The wall and the storm actually stopping SD from getting his purge off instantly. The strikes up by the uh, storm. He'll hit the deck again, but Ninja actually is Nico in through the rear to kill off old chicken. 
Invoker is your casualty, but hey, you're happy with that. Another glimpse pulls Mars back into the fight and into another avalanche toss combination. Kaka getting clipped by it too. Nico's just trying to do so much work and he's doing it. One more attack will do it. 25 oh. HP. The Axis won't be able to reach. They can't get a glimpse. Old 11 triggers the borrowed time. Trying to stay on the front line. I like the Midas idea from, uh, from KP here. It's pretty common on Core Ogre to go for it. Uh, if you're having a good game and you go Midas, it just amplifies you so much. With the multicast Midas, you can start getting these R items at really good timings. Oh. And usually when you see other heroes with their like payoff timings, when it gets graphed out, how long it takes to get the payoff on Midas, Ogre just gets it, you know, 75% faster. They're off to Kuro again. Maldic is able to connect. Now be a very dead Kuro, even with the Shadow Word, the leap forward from Rage Potato. Maybe actually with Stick Charges, Kuro fine. can survive through this. He's fine. Potato wants to stay on the back of it. Kuro, leap forward, Starfall, he's trying to shoot him out. Now with a Sam P, Kuro is able to do it. GH will arrive to help with Weeha to find the kill on Ragey Potato, who really wanted that. That he won't get. His old chicken's got one, right? Yeah, I'd imagine. He like, he's... It would be a little strange if uh, if they do double up the ACs. Yeah. Agree. There's smoke. Gonna jump. Catch. They're gonna try and jump in straight away onto a tanky one. Niche is in as well. Look at the back lines. He'll go for Kaka, but the lower assault was placed on Kaka, so the stun gets reflected on Niche. Not that it matters because Niche still gets the chance to put the BKB. Old Chicken. He's trying to right click down Niche. They're surrounding him and chasing him out. Niche's BKB is about to wear off. Open wounds are there from Old Chicken. They're on top of them. Drag back with the X mark. Finally, the false promise is there from Puppy. Keeping Niche fine allows him to blink out to the side. Throws out the Kudosh, but the loads is off. Again, Old Eleven reflecting the stun. They're in on. Tanisha, Nisha full, fully healed though. After the false promise ends, Old Chicken's still trying to tackle him. They drag him back with the x but they still Mid can't quite kill him up. as they hold back Old Chicken. Nisha jumps back with the concoction. Secret will come out on top. Power, I'm sure they're okay with that. Oh yeah. Jarek still in Viz. Oh, they have a sentry here, so Jarek sees them actually, and they might get a turnaround kill here. Let's see, still under the sentry, here we go. Jarek's bopping once in the head. That's going to be an ulti. They have the level one leech seed as well. He's just going to pop his ulti and think a little bit scared. He's going to stun on over. Fada gets a kill middle on top wow. of it, but 33 just turns around. He is still dusted. Will he get run down? He's trying to juke. He's trying to jive. Will he find it? He has a stun up in two. Dust just wore off. He doesn't have Sandstorm for about five, though. Seems like he's good. Oh, what a boss. Maybe a boss. not. Oh, and Sox is here. The balls are there. He's going to try to dodge him. It looks like he's actually trying to tank him up on the bat rider. Right wow. Just kill. 33 styling on him right now. I go Saber Slark. I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, did anyone say that over here? Yeah, no, I think it was Kyle. <laughs> Why? Well, we know it was right. No, Why do you think he is going Echo Saber? Uh, uh, maybe just like instead of the defusal, you want like this tankiness item against Axe. Like you wanted that little bit of extra health. They do just My use bad. Echo Center, Epicenter plus the Bow Rider, yeah. Haste Rune. Mainly just the sanking, honestly. Pretty much a solo kill. And this sanking, he's having a damn good game. Yeah, they don't really have a way to reliably kill him. When we're going in middle, they've got the spirit on top. Will Fada be able to hit this arrow? There is a lasso. There it is. We're going to see the arrow, but it, ooh, will get put under is no tail. Now they're going to try to get out, or will they? Here comes the stomp. Will it hit? No one. There's going to be a tree ulti, but Thompson taking so much damage. Is trying to win run away. Is there enough magic damage? Not quite yet. Heat of the Ogre, so yeah, this, this dual lane that they put up top has done a great job to absorb that pressure. Quick of a stop for Kuka. Still doing great, 17-9, 21. Still sniper favorite, but not too bad for Jakiro. I'm sure Paul, Red Eye probably losing it right now as he does not like the core Jakiro. Mid. Mid one. And this is why. Big nine. Dove here, mid one. He will Tanky. turn, assassinates out. The very no. fire. One more right clicking. The very fire. He's find it. Mipple's in the trees and he lives. Oh my god, and now side rotates into our mouth. The turnaround. They found AU. They'll find. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I think it's also now done for TNC, both on Cuckoo and Amel. I thought you were going to say. Wait, Actually, no, no, sorry, not on our Cuckoo, Jane, Rob, that he had pretty much the money for the blink, but he's favoring the four staff this okay. game rather than, than getting the blink first. It's probably because he's playing versus the Venge and the Shadow Demon. There's just so many different types. But even if Venge isn't in position to swap, you pop Stampede and then he runs into position. Hunting Cuckoo. This moment they get the jump inside. Man is getting the Hoost off the follow light strike away. Hey, he gets in the back, he gets the RP to lock them down, and Cuckoo, he lives! He gets out of there, the smoke as well, to stop the assassinate from going through as Cuckoo survives. To do for the rune, looks like he might, but he's gonna roll Olay. past it. Nice job by Stinger. Now he's gonna go on him though, has the urn, has another roll, just gonna hit him. Here comes one race to steal the kill. No, nope, raise and a right click. He's already got a thousand, you don't have to give it to him, Chris. 
Yeah, Smell is actually just going for this more standard SF build. Treads, drums, BKB. I just realized how farmed everyone is in like both these last games, right? Yeah. Like just every core is getting farms in on both teams, like all six cores, it feels like. This is the American. It's gonna be a stun. Here we go. There is going to be the boat. It will hit on to four of them, but Chris Luck, he's all alone. He's gonna no, try to TP no. out there. Yeah. No way. And oh, no. oh my <laughs> goodness, in the middle of four of them. Down. Wow. Jax is in position. That was like the most perfect sidestep I've actually seen. That was that was pretty crazy there by No Tails. Bottom. They're gonna try for Sep again, but it's that nature's attendance itself. Have they got the magical burst? They do. They get the kill. No one in solo will find it. It's nice. I like how the I like how VP reacted in moving the lanes around. They still have Pasha up top, but they sent the DK in and they sent the last strike right bottom, so he has that matchup. Smart moves coming out, but Ramsey's in the mid. Getting comboed up, he gets the stun. Thompson, he's got an arcade mode. He's he like, wants to I'm chase this. For this. He's going to have combo again in a second. And Ramsey's just trying to hide oh. behind the tree. Oh, he's, he's juked him. Well, so these Thompson's not going to search any further around that tree. Ramsey's tower, though. No. no objective being taken from. It's just to support that Chrono was useful. Try and jump in towards the Lena. They get the stomp, of course. Now, no Chrono, so this is probably going to be a kill they can go for. Top duel comes out. Cuckoo is also a follow up TP coming in from BT Faded. A lot of trouble here. There's a hand to God to save. And he's got, got the face bottle boots charges. And bottle charges, but if they get a bash, they've got him. They do. But anyway, there's still a lot of chase down. There's no reaction coming out to help him either from the rest of TNC. Kuku's still walking it off. Kazu's trying his best with the body blows. He's gonna have Fisher up in a second. Does have stick charges. Another W. Oh my God. He's gonna walk out. He's actually gonna walk. Kuku says goodbye. What's Thompson got? He just finished BKB. In addition to the Veil double right, he's so tank. How are you gonna kill anything? It's like we just discussed that they need fast fights. They need to. Well, we might find out here. They're gonna roll for Tana. We'll try to just run in at him. They're gonna go for Ice 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 first. Here's the big team fight. Blood right will go, but it doesn't anyone because the BKBs are there. Abed just trying to run away. DJ on the backside just getting beat up by this Slark. Dubu goes down as well. They're trying to get on it. He doesn't have his ulti. He just leaps away because they can't lock him down, but he might make it. There's a nice Yules in the air helping the Slark get out of there. Seb gets another stun up, and Abed, he's looking for this kill. Can they find it? It doesn't oh, look like it. They're trying to bring no him down, way. and they just can't. The Blood right, he leaps out of it. Oh, and now Jazz is just getting hit. There's going to be the roll. They just can't bring him down. That's all about dying. You, they can kill the top lane, though, because uh, Mind Control is really trying to take this tower. Uh, he'll, he'll actually die for it. Yeah. 2DB gets the last hit for the tower, though. So I think he's saying that's well worth it. And he rotating it himself wants these kills. But here comes the Ember You mentioned about his rotation. OD needs another Astral. Still cool down for a few more seconds. Another Fire Room at forward. And they kill off the OD. Just before the Astral Imprisonment came back up and Miracle gets juked here. Dark runs back up to the north. I think Miracle knows this. He's going to scout him out in just a second. No, he completely breaks his ankles. Dark has managed to juke Miracle himself. And now Old Eleven's had a chance to rotate on in. Dunk. Looking for Kuro. Eleven wants this kill. He's going to get it. Gets the movement speed first. And Dark, what a play coming out from a Miracle. That is sick.